Hello everybody. Today we're going to look at Stats 1 OCR June 2012 paper. We're going to look at question 9 and check out this question. It's very, very wordy. So, what I would advise you do on a really wordy question is either underline or highlight. You can take highlighters into the exam, that is not a problem. So, let's have a read. A clock is designed to chime once an hour. Key word, or key bit of information, chime once an hour. On the hour, guess we need that too. The clock has a fault. Each time it is supposed to chime, there is a constant probability of 1 over 10 that it will not chime. So that sentence is just saying 1 over 10 chance it's going to fail to chime. Okay. We'll talk about calling that a success in a minute, but don't worry about that yet. It may be assumed that the clock never stops, but the faults occur independently. That is so that we can use a certain model, which we'll talk about in a minute. The clock is started five minutes past midnight on a certain day. Find the probability that the first time that it does not chime is six o'clock on that day. Okay first time it does not chime. So we've broken down all that information into three key facts. And what I've done, because this question is so long, is I've split it into two different slides. So we'll just get back to the first part. Chimes once an hour on the hour. It's a probability of one over ten it will not chime. And we're talking about the first time it does not chime. So because we don't know how many attempts we're doing, we're just going until it doesn't chime for the first time. It's a geometric distribution. So if we say that x is the number of, using hashtag for number of, times till no chime, okay, we're effectively saying that's a success in what you might have been taught about geometric distribution. And the probability of this occurring is 1 over 10. So, x twiddles geometric distribution with a probability of 0.1 or 1 over 10, whichever way you want to write that. Now, if we're going from 12 o'clock, not counting 12 o'clock because we're already on 5 past, going to 6 o'clock, that is 6 trials. So we're effectively finding the probability that x equals 6 in this distribution. So if you think about what that means, it means it's failed five times at 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 o'clock. So we've got five fails and then it's succeeded once. Now I know it's a bit backwards the way I'm talking about this. We're saying a success is not chiming. Doesn't make much much sense in real life, but it does help in maths to have a success clearly defined. Even if it's a bad thing, we call it a success anyway. So if the probability of P is 1 over 10, 1 minus P gives us Q 9 over 10 or 0 0.9. So we get this answer by doing 0 0.1 times by 0.9 to the power of 5. It doesn't matter which way around. And we get 0 0.0590 to 3 significant figures. Obviously, you don't need the 0 if you don't want. Part B. Part B is talking about its first time it chimes is before 6 o'clock on that day. So, in terms of probability notation, x is less than 6. Okay, now let's think about these hours ticking along. We've started at just after 12, so we don't need to worry about that. We go to 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, etc. Okay, and we keep going, time just keeps on ticking. Now, we only care about it not chiming before 6, okay? So we don't actually care what happens after this. 
for it to chime before six, it's got to be somewhere in here. Now we're going to go about this answer in two steps. The first step is to think, well, what if it chimed after six, at six or after? You'd have fail, 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 and then you could succeed or fail. It doesn't matter. Okay. So the probability of getting the first success, in inverted commas, at six or after, is just this part. Q times Q times Q times Q, five times, Q to the power of five, okay, which is 0 0.9 to the power of five. But remember, we don't want this side, okay, that's what we've just figured out, so we want to do one, take away that answer. I know this is quite tricky to get your head around because actually this could go on forever. But the only possibilities are is it, it chiming here, 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 forever this way. So all those probabilities, even though they're infinite, have to add up to one. Therefore, if you know all the ones from here onwards forever, you can take it away from one and get the remaining possibilities that are left. And that means that you could say um, fail, succeed, fail, fail, succeed, any combination like that. Okay, it covers it all. So the answer for that one is 0.4095 to four significant figures. Part two. Another clock is designed. So let's look for keywords. It's designed to chime twice each hour. Okay, well, more importantly, chimes on the hour and 30 minutes past the hour. This clock is a fault. Each time it is supposed to chime, there's a constant probability of 1 over 20 that it will not chime. It may be assumed the clock never stops and that the faults occur independently. The clock is started again at 5 minutes past midnight. Find the probability the first time it does not chime is either at half 12 or half past 1 on that day. So, Let's think about it chiming first off at half past 12. Well, we've got a new distribution function, so let's use y instead of x. We've just used x. It's geometric again because we keep going until we get a success. But this time the probability is 1 in 20, or if you like, 0 0.05. Okay? And again, we're calling a success it not chiming, which is quite weird. So, that's part A. We want to know the probability that y equals 1, because that would mean it's chiming at the first opportunity at half past 12. So that just means straight away you get a success, 0 0.05, no failures. Or, you can get a chime at half past one. So we've gone half past twelve, one o'clock, half one. So that is two failures and then a success. So for y equals three, 0.95 squared times by 0.05, which gives us 0.0451. Because it's or, we add them together, okay, so probability y equals 1 or 3 equals 0 0.0951, it's three significant figures. Part B, and we do get a little bit complicated now, but it does give you a nice clue, it tells you what to use. 
the formula for the sum to infinity of a geometric progression. So straight away, get to the back of your, the front of your exam paper, your uh, formula book, and write down the formula. The sum to infinity of geometric series equals a over 1 minus r. And that's what we'll be using. Now let's think about what's actually happening. We've got our time scale, half one. It's the first time it can chime. One o'clock can chime again. Half one, two o'clock, half two, three o'clock, half three. Let's examine this and see if we can find a pattern. Okay? Hopefully it will make a nice geometric pattern. So probability of it chiming at half one. Half past 12 is P, no failures. At one o'clock is PQ, then PQ squared, PQ cubed, PQ to four. So you can see what pattern we've got there. Now, if we read the question, it says find the first time it does not chime, the probability it does not chime is at half past some hour. So the only bits we care about are this, 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 and carrying on forever. So we do not want that, we do not want that, we do not want that. So what we're trying to add up is all these probabilities. We want to add up P and P plus P times Q squared, P times Q to 4, P times Q to 6, and you can see what's going to happen. P times Q to 8, forever. We've got a nice pattern now. So let's scroll up. So our first term A is P, which happens to be known by us as 0 0.05. And our common diff, our, not common difference, our common ratio R is Q squared, and Q is 0.95, so Q squared is 0.9025. All we're going to do now is put this into our formula that we wrote up here. So the sum to infinity is going to be 0.05 over 1 minus 0.9025. It might be a good time to mention that R is less than 1, which is a condition for this formula to work. The modulus of R must be less than 1. This gives us 20 over 39, or is the decibel 0.513 to 3 significant figures. That's our answer. We've covered some quite tricky things in this video, so I hope it has made some sense for you. Feel free to ask if not. Keep up the good maths work. And don't forget, enjoy maths and achieve maths.